one of the real differences in becoming Catholic for me was just going to church, just the the action of going to church. Um, so many times in my life, you know, as a child, we quit going for a period of time. And then as an adult, I quit going on my own. And then at some point, even quit taking my family to church. And I always knew that church attendance was good, but I always had the idea that it was good, but not necessary. And so, you know, to have a, a good relationship with God, it was not necessary to go to church. Now, as a Catholic, that's very different. You know, we have what we refer to as the Sunday obligation, you know, the precepts of the church. But I, and, and though the word obligation, I, I know can make some people kind of twitch in their seat a little bit. I understand what it means, but here's the difference, I think. Um, it's all about why you go and what you're doing. For me as a Baptist, I went for the, for the preacher. I went for the sermon. I could do that for my living room. The music was wonderful, and I could turn on the radio. I could get the experience of church from home as a Baptist. As a Catholic, there were times when we couldn't go. The churches were closed in our recent past, and we participated as fully as we could. But my heart longed to be back physically at Mass because I wanted to be in the physical presence of our Lord and in his physical presence. And that is what the biggest difference is. So though it may be an obligation in the beginning, it becomes your heart's desire. And I often explain it to people. It's, you know, the church is referred to as our mother. And so many times as parents, we give an obligation, a rule, a law, whatever we want to call it, to our children, and we make it an obligation. There's a consequence if, if you don't do this. And we do that because we know whatever it is we're putting in place is good for them. It's the best for them. And so if they'll do it just so they don't suffer this consequence in the beginning, that's good. But our hope is that over time, they're going to want to do it because of the good it is in and of itself. It's kind of the same when you first start going to Mass. You go because you know you're supposed to, but eventually you go because you know it's the best good that you can do all week. <laughs> I think another big difference is a lot of times as a Baptist, it was all about what I was receiving. You know, we would hear the phrase a lot of times, you know, if you change from one church to the next, it's because, well, I just wasn't being fed. I wasn't being ministered to. It didn't have, you know, the music didn't uplift me. It was all about me, me, me. And and you do, you do that unwittingly. You know, you go because you do want your heart to be lifted to the Lord. And so sometimes if you, if you don't have the right understanding of worship, then it does just become all about an experience for yourself. Whereas at Mass... No, we are bringing our worship to the Lord. We are fully participating in that sacrifice. We're offering up our sacrifice and praise. So we are active participants in Mass. You don't, you're not a bystander. You know, you're not there to be entertained. Um, you are there to participate in the sacrifice of the Mass. So it's very different. I have an experience that happened to me. Um, this actually happened before I was fully um, brought into the church. It was during the time that I was discerning and I was in RCIA. And I was attending a church at that time, uh, going to Mass every Sunday, where they sang many of the prayers in Latin. And our RCI instructors, they um, instructed us not to worry about the missalette, you know, to just don't be confused by it, put it down, just absorb all you can, just be present in the moment, participate when you can. So I never had the book in front of me. So the... Um, Lamb of God was sung in Latin. And so I never understood what was being sung. I did not know what they were saying. But every time I would cry, as soon as the words began to be spoke, I would start to cry. And it was, you know how you can have different kinds of tears? It was always tears of great remorse. It was like I was willing my body to stand when it really wanted to kneel. And I did not understand what was happening. This happened three or four times. And I finally went to Sister Susan, the sweet little nun that headed up our RCA, 
And I explained to her what was happening to me. And she just smiled really big and she sat me down and she said, she said, Melissa, let me tell you what's being said. And she said, Lamb of God. And she starts reciting it well. I just immediately start to cry. And she said, your mind didn't comprehend. And she put her hand here and she said, but your heart did. And so but yeah, it is a much different experience. You worship with all your senses, mind, body, soul. And that was the other thing um, that you worship with all your senses, you know, the touch, smell, taste, your body posture, everything. You're completely engaged.